An outbreak of crime across the triad with multiple shootings in Greensboro in a matter of days. Greensboro police say one person is injured after a shooting on Brighton Street. And then yesterday, another person was taken to the hospital after a shooting on Kildare Drive. Also in Greensboro, an officer involved shooting under investigation. It happened on Monday on South Elm Eugene Street. We aren't just seeing this problem in Greensboro. 21 year old a woman there in Winston Salem. She was shot while two groups of people were shooting at each other in a parking lot on Oliver's Crossing Circle. This string of crimes has many of us wondering what's being done to stop it. And we've heard of an organization called Cure Violence across the state, including in Greensboro. But is the organization effective? WFNY News 2's Jalen Gilkey spoke with an organizer from Cure Violence about what they've seen since launching this program. Well, within the last seven days, we've seen at least five shootings in Greensboro and High Point, uh, excuse me, with Greensboro and Winston-Salem combined. At least two of these incidents ended up with someone losing their life. So groups like Cure Violence Greensboro are trying to step up and do things about this recent string of violence. I'm in our target area where we go out and we work with our community and I, we talk to our community considering um, some of us are from the communities that we serve. We have relationships with people that most don't have relationships with. This group isn't about being seen in the public eye. Their goal is to reach the individuals who are close to throwing away their lives by ending someone else's. There has been a couple of crises that we've had to deal with. Um, and we handle it. Um, most don't see the work you, we do because our work isn't done directly in the street, but directly with individuals. Forsyth County leaders discuss the possibility of launching a chapter in their area as well. They plan to meet with organizers in the coming weeks. If you'd like to volunteer your time and resources to Cure Violence Greensboro, or if you'd like to contact them for any reason whatsoever, I've attached contact information in this web story on WFMYNews2.com.